What's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to this little mini review. Today we're talking about the 511 Tactical Holster Shirt. Now as you saw in that little, uh, albeit dramatic, intro video, the idea with this thing is it's like a compression shirt that fits underneath your like other shirts or whatever. And then under your arms it has a holster on each side for concealed carry. It's an interesting concept. You know, I wore it out a couple times in the public world and, and gave it a shot. And there were a couple things that I did notice. So first off, let's talk about comfort. So it is comfortable. I mean, it's a it's a tight shirt, so it fits kind of like an Under Armour, you know, compression shirt or something, a workout shirt. Uh, so it's pretty constricting, but it was comfortable overall. This one's a medium. I'm 5'11", about 160 pounds, and, and a medium fits me pretty well. It fits very tight, but I think it's supposed to fit very tight. But the one thing is, it's an extra layer, you know? Like if you're not already in a uniform, if you're just an everyday citizen wearing this around, it's hot. It's about 90 degrees in Utah right now, so wearing this thing, wearing an extra layer underneath my normal clothes did get a little toasty, I won't lie, uh, especially around kind of the vest area right here where the holster area is. Um, it's cushioned, which makes it super comfortable, but it does get extra hot. Um, and if you're somewhere where you know it's hotter than, than Utah, it's gonna get toasty and it's gonna get sweaty. So keep that in mind. The other thing with comfort is this top little like neck piece, this little like half inch kind of turtleneck area I wasn't a huge fan of that, you know, I mean, first of all, I'm not really a big fan of having stuff around my neck, so it just bothered me having that there. And the other thing is, you know, I don't wear like dress shirts or anything that's going to button all the way up. If I wear a polo or if I wear a button up shirt, I'm going to leave the top couple buttons undone. And so not only can you see this fabric, but you can also see that I'm wearing like an odd little turtleneck under my shirt. <laughs> So fashion wise, I wasn't a huge fan of that. I think there are other options. I think there's like a V-neck and stuff. So the V-neck might be nice to hide it underneath like a polo or whatever. But you know, if you're in a uniform or like a dress shirt or something like that, it's just fine. Which brings me to my next point. This obviously needs to be worn under something with an open front. So it needs to be under like a button up shirt or maybe like an office shirt, like a dress shirt or a uniform because like with a t-shirt right here, the gun's way up here, right? So you can't really go in through your neck. You're gonna have to take your shirt all the way up and grab that gun out that way. For me, I wear t-shirts 99% of the time. So I don't know how practical this shirt is for me. But let's get to the thing that really matters. How does this thing carry and conceal with a gun in it? I wore an XDS with it for the most part underneath my left arm here. And uh, I have to say it was very, very comfortable. Like this section where the holster is, is like seriously a pillow. It's so soft and cushiony that, uh, you know, wearing a gun in there was, it was great. It, like it concealed well, as long as you were wearing a fairly baggy shirt. I can imagine if you're wearing something really heavy, like a stainless steel, like a, I don't know if a 1911 will fit in here. It probably would. It'd be pretty dang close. Uh, but yeah, you know, something heavy, you're, you might feel it a little more. But as far as what I was carrying, it was just fine. I think, you know, like if you had a Glock 19 or anything compact, you're gonna be just fine. If you're carrying something full size, uh, it, it might come into play a little bit, but still, I think it's gonna conceal well. It's just gonna be a matter of whether it's bothering you or not. Uh, it's nice that it has the holster on both sides for right or left-handed. Uh, it's also nice that, you know, there is an extra pocket there. Like, you know, you've got your gun over here, maybe you're traveling or something, you've got your money, your passport, whatever, like super important safe stuff you've got on you. I think that's a nice option. I saw a couple questions on the reviews section that was asking if you can jog with this. I think you probably could, but you'd want something real small. You'd want like an LCP or something real tiny in there. There is a decent amount of compression, like of the, the pockets pretty tight. So I think it would keep it there fairly well. Uh, but anything bigger than like a pocket sized gun, I think would just kind of be bouncing and be awkward to run with. So let's talk a little bit about the draw. So as I mentioned, there's Velcro holding these things in place and then the gun fits inside of that. And uh, it does fit fairly deep inside. As you can see there, like it's all the way down here. Uh, in order to draw, you need two hands because you need to pull this Velcro up with one hand. It's, I tried it with one hand a couple times and it's pretty difficult to get in there, split it and get your hand in there. I mean, it can be done, but ideally you're wanting to pull up with one hand, stick your other hand in there and pull out. 
Now, here's where the issue comes in. You can see the design of this pocket. You see how it's like, how it comes straight over and then up? Well, when the gun's in here, let me just put the gun in there and I'll show you, I guess. So when the gun is sitting in that pocket and you reach to draw and you pull, you immediately hit the top of this flat spot and it never draws clean. So I really had to get in the habit of putting my hand in there and just like twisting as much as I could and I would still hit that top but then I'd kind of come out at an angle. I get why it fits this way because it's a lot easier to conceal right here than right here. Uh, but the draw from here and then trying to come up and then this way, it's, it's a little clunky. So the draw is not great. It's not like a shoulder holster that's ready to go and just pull, you know, like you're pulling this thing up, you're trying to wiggle this thing out of the pocket and then you're clear. A quick summation in terms of pros and cons. Pros, it's very comfortable. Uh, it also conceals very well. On the con side, I will say that the draw is not clean, as we discussed. Um, it's also, it's, it's constricting. So if you're one of those people who's like claustrophobic or doesn't like to be restricted, it's, it feels very tight around you. And then it's pretty hot as well. You know, it's an extra layer of clothing if it's like summer or something like that. Uh, it's hot. And then finally, you can't really wear it with t-shirts. You know, it's designed for dress shirts, for uniform, stuff like that, not for t-shirts. Uh, I will say though, I think it's a perfect fit for someone working in the office uh, who maybe, you know, they're wearing tighter slacks, they're wearing a dress shirt or something like that. It, it's, they have to have their shirt tucked in. It's a little awkward to have your gun concealed in your waistband. I think it's a fantastic option. If you're wearing a dress shirt, you can just kind of pull one button open, stick your hand in and draw. Uh, I think that's, I think it's fantastic for people like that. But for someone like me who's wearing a t-shirt and shorts every day, it's just not ideal. Price-wise, you're at 45 bucks for this thing. Um, I honestly think that's pretty fair. You know, it's a, it's a good quality shirt. There's a lot of thought put into these, uh, like how cushiony it is and how comfortable it is. The first link in the video description will take you to the Amazon page for this thing. You can check out all the details there. I'm actually giving this one away to my Patreon supporters. Uh, if you're interested in joining the Patreon, helping me decide what to buy and uh, review and then winning those things at the end of the month, check out the Patreon page. That's the second link down in the description below. Uh, otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. 511 Tactical Holster Shirt. It gets like one thumbs up. How about that?